Well, hello and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. It's Friday afternoon now, and we are about to head out on a little weekend excursion. You may be able to hear the kids and the dog. Everyone's excited and all riled up. Um, we just packed up Riley's truck and we're about to head out. So we are heading to Granbury, Texas, and um, it's just a little small town. It's a few hours away, and my mother, I actually don't really know anything about it. My mother-in-law booked it, um, booked like a big cabin there, apparently close to a lake, and I guess there's like a few different cool things that are going on while we're gonna be there that weekend, and this weekend, so my family of four is going, my sister-in-law and her three kids are coming, and then my other sister-in-law, who is single, is also coming. So the whole crew of us, you know, everybody on Riley's side, we're all going for the weekend, and we're really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be really, really nice to spend time together and relax and, um, you know, go and explore a new place. And I love that it's just easy peasy driving distance. We almost always fly when we travel, so this is gonna be just really nice. Um, so that's that. I just wanted to welcome you to my vlog. I have my headphones around my neck, which does anyone else mine get makeup on them? And I clean them and then they get makeup on them. Um, I should get the inserts that are black, but I like that they match the silver. But anywho, um, I have them around my neck because I have been listening to the audiobook called Educated, which is a memoir by Tara Westover. And I am probably almost three quarters of the way through it. It has been a wild read or listen. Very, very interesting. And um, anyway, so I've been listening to that as I've been, I baked like three loaves of sourdough, <laughs> packing the kids, packing for me, tidying up the house, talking to our house sitter, all the things, you know, that you do before you go away. So I think everything's good to go. We might need to take out the trash and then we are going to hit the road and head to Granbury, Texas. <laughs> look at this view. Looks like anywhere you are in Texas when you're not looking at anything. All right, we just got here. Well, it's been about two hours since we got here, probably an hour maybe. And um, they have like a little welcome table. There's Monica. <laughs> Here's the kitchen and dining room. Everyone say hi. hi. This is my sister-in-law Emily and her son Simon and you know Riley. And then you come through into here and there's um, just like a big living room area. Two little seating areas. One that's kind of centered around the fireplace and then the other <clears throat> is centered around the TV. I love these chairs. Oh, you just want to hide from them? Okay. <laughs> these two. Um, Why is it an opening? This is the downstairs bedroom. This is where Monica, my mother-in-law, is staying. It's really pretty, actually. And she has a little bathroom in here. Oh, wow. I'm going to turn on the lights. Wow. Okay. So, I'm trying to orient myself. I have not been in here yet. <clears throat> so, there's a bathroom. I mean, a sink in here. <laughs> We're in the bathroom. Then there's a toilet and a shower. And then there's also a bathtub and another, <laughs> like a bunch of bathrooms. Um, but this is great for her. There's Kali Bali. Colin! This is my niece, Zoe. Cute little laundry room. And then this is the game room, which is the garage, but they made it into a game room, which is pretty fun. The kids love it. So there's foosball over here. There's a whole bunch of different toys. There's like a putting green, big giant Jenga. Obviously ping pong here in the middle. And there's some others over there. It's chillier in here than it is in the rest of the house because again, it's a garage. The tile in this laundry room is neat. I like it. Might be stick on actually because there's no real grout, but I like it anyway. <clears throat> there's a little half bath down here, kind of off this main living area. Also has some cool tile on it. <laughs> then heading upstairs. So you can't see now because it's dark, but we have views of the lake. We're pretty far back, like the lake access is not great. We're in a cove, but 
It's gonna be cold while we're here anyway, so that's fine. So they have a few random things up here. Their selection of books was cracking me up. It's like pretty random. Um, hi. hi. <laughs> There's my niece Libby. You wanna show your room? Room. <laughs> this is pretty cool, isn't it? With the three beds. Mm -hmm. So Simon, my oldest nephew, and then Libby this sweet one, who's the middle child, and then Zoe. <clears throat> They're all gonna sleep in here. And then this is just a closet, right? Yes. They even decorated it. This room is really super cozy. With the rug and like, it, this is a really cozy room. And then you go through this room and there is a bathroom, obviously. Um, Oh, and here's the shower. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. I think this, I would be very willing to guess that this house was super, super outdated and that they flipped it for it to be an Airbnb because there's some things that are pretty out of date like the sinks and the showers, but then everything else has been like really nicely updated. And then this is gonna be our room. Let's see if there's a light. There we go. Um, and so Riley and I will sleep there and then we will put the kids to bed, probably one on one end and one on the other end here, which will work out really well. And then we have a, um, a bed rail. <clears throat> this place comes with bed rails. So we will put that up. And then there's like this little desk, which is funny. There's like a lot of desks in this house, which really cracks me up. But you know, I guess if you're here on like a little retreat and you need to work or something, <laughs> I don't know, but this is cute. So. Then there's a, um, it just keeps going. The house is really, we couldn't, nobody could find this bunk room for a while. Can I come in here? Yeah. We're hiding from Katie. Oh, so no one could find this room for a this while. Is the coolest little room. I it is so cute. And there's just two little beds. And I don't know what it was, a closet? What do you think? Yeah, closet. I guess, I don't know. There's a... Zuma has to be in here. <laughs> Zoe's baby doll. It's all, all set up. Things, and how nice, look how nice the seat fits. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. What is that sound? Oh my god. <laughs> and then I think both my airplane next. My two sisters-in-law, I think, said they're gonna sleep in here. So they said, "Is it okay that we're sleeping in your closet?" And, <laughs> and I said, "Of course." But it's a little bit funny, like for them to get in here. They have to go. They have to go through Mommy, our room, which is fine. No, there's not another way out, is there? That is no, just that's a, a closet. Yeah. So anyway, it's really fun. Um, it's a very quirky layout, which also makes me think that it's a pretty old house, the doors and everything. <clears throat> but it's really cute. It's really cute. It definitely suits our needs for the weekend. So here's looking down. Hi, Kali. And then there is a um, little balcony situation. It's pretty cold out here. Oh, you can see the lake. And there's some um, furniture. Oh, it's chilly. And, like there's like a little gazebo. So it's really cute. I'm gonna go get our suitcases and just get a little bit unpacked. I feel really funny that they have to come through our... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I thought when I first saw it, I'll talk to you in the mirror. When I first saw it, I thought that they had to, we shared a bathroom, it was a Jack and Jill bathroom. Cause Emily was like, it's kind of weird cause we have to come through. And I thought she might come through the bathroom. But literally this is the only entrance. <laughs> so that's funny. <laughs> that's really funny. Okay, well, this room it continues to be my favorite. It's just so sweet. <laughs> I like acting cause I'm told what to do. I don't care, I ask you, I ask you. I asked KB to talk about what donuts she got because she brought them from Whoa. Houston. Okay, so my sister-in-law KB is here. Hello. Hello. And she brought special donuts from Houston. She's going to do a tour for me. Hello. So what we have, <laughs> these are from a little pastry shop called Paris Baguette, and it's uh, Asian-Parisian wow. fusion, and it's great. Oh, that's cool. And so this is a bean curd and cream pastry. Oh. It's like a Bean curd? 
That's red, for me. For bean curd and yeah. for mine. <laughs> red bean curd and cream. <laughs> You're claiming that? Yes. Bean curd donuts. That's who I was thinking of when I got it. <laughs> um, and then these are little mochi donuts. I don't know if I say that right, but they've got a very interesting, like, gummy texture. That's not the most appetizing sound. It's a great but thing. Is it's that a matcha. matcha. I think oh. I tried one of them they're once. They're really good. You brought it's home. It's just a very different texture, but they're delicious. And here we come. Okay. So, this, oh, so these yeah. are rice balls with cream inside of them. These little buddies. This is a Nutella donut. Uh, creme brulee. Oh. King donut, I think that's what they call them when they don't have balls in them. I don't know. Um, oh, with that little crusty no, that's a crunch. Cream, yeah, so it's got the creme brulee topping and then it's cream filled. Oh, that sounds delicious. And then this is a tiramisu king donut. Oh, gosh. So it's got all of the goodies inside of it. Mm. And this is a coffee donut thing. It just looks like good a coffee and it said coffee on it. That looks really good. Um, and then this is a Boston cream pie pastry. It looks like a croissant. It's a croissant with Boston cream. It's gonna be real good. Those look you amazing. Know, like, Which one's your favorite? Super healthy on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite? I don't. I don't know if I tried all of them. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I tried. I bring them and I eat the mochi. And I let you guys eat the rest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's sweet. Is this one here too? Yeah. No. Riley. Oh, wow. She just did the tour and Incredible it's looking cream. good. It's gonna be really good. These I can, are. These it are smells amazing. Very basic yeah. for children. It doesn't look basic. It's like a wasabi. <laughs> we used to do very simple <laughs> Parisian <laughs> pastries for our children. <laughs> I only go to the finest bistro. But if they misbehave, they only get a mochi donut. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. It is Saturday now, and um, it's about, I think, 10 o'clock in the morning, I think. Let me check. 10.03, almost exactly 10 o'clock. Colin is upset because Riley went to take a shower and he's super attached to him right now. So, unfortunately, there's not much I can do. <laughs> if I try to pick him up, he does not like it. Um, so you can see the view a little better this morning. Let me show you. From upstairs, you can see it even more, but it is a really cool view. And then there's some steep stairs down this path um, that go down so that you can be at the water's edge. And my sister-in-law, Emily, and her son, Simon, have gone down there twice now to go fishing. But it's actually really, really cold and windy. And uh, they said it, it honestly wasn't too much fun because it was just so chilly. So the rest of the gang just left to go to a museum and um, it's not a children's museum. So we opted out because I don't think that would go super duper well. Um, so we are all getting dressed right now to um, head out. I think we're gonna go stop at a coffee shop and I really would like to go to HEB, which is a grocery store that is just such a good grocery store. I just love H-E-B. And when I lived in Austin, I went to H-E-B at least once a week, if not more. I just loved it. And there's not one where we live, um, but there's one here in this city. So I think we might go there and pick up a few of our favorite things, like the Texas pecan coffee and just a few things like that. Um, and then we're meeting up for a safari situation. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but that's at like one. So we have a few more hours until then. Um, and I think the deal is that we load up into some kind of like safari vehicle and drive through and we get to like feed the animals and get up close and personal with them or something, um, which I think the kids will just absolutely love. And then we don't have any more plans for the rest of the day. Um, and tomorrow, depending on the weather, there is this like dinosaur exhibit. We haven't been talking about it too much because we're not sure about, it's an all outdoor situation and I just don't know how that's gonna go if it's bitter cold. But um, we're definitely gonna do the safari thing today. So we're looking forward to that. So we're just getting dressed. I actually just had one of my children fell and uh, bled on my shoulder. So I guess I'm, I think I'm, I don't really feel like changing. I didn't bring a whole bunch of extra clothes, so I'll just wear my hair down. <laughs> Mom life. All right, I did end up changing my sweatshirt because it was pretty disgusting. Um, we are driving to a coffee shop right now called Oz Coffee Bar, and um, it has amazing reviews and we've heard really good things. So we're gonna go in there and to get some coffee. I'd like to get a little breakfast. Um, we just kind of nibbled and shared those donuts this morning and I'm starting to get hungry again now that it's 11. 
or maybe some lunch kind of vibes would be great too. Oh, here's Pastafina where we got that pizza last night. Um, so that's what we're up to. We got the kids loaded up. Nora, you want to say hi? Not really. Oh, a little hi. Riley, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm hungry too. I am, yeah. I'm hungry and I'm ready. I haven't even had any coffee. You had some. Mm. I got your chick away. <laughs> I haven't seen one, Nor Nor. What? I've not seen a Chick fil A. So, anyway, that's what we're up to, and then we're going to do the safari. So, this coffee shop is on the square, which is part of the reason we wanted to come. So, there's the courthouse in the middle. This is how, like, I don't know if this is how small towns all over the U.S. are set up, but this is how, like, every single small town in Texas is set up. So there's the courthouse and then there are like little shops and bookshops and banks and I don't know, all kinds of places everywhere around here. Um, so that's what, let's go. You ready to go, Nor Nor? Yes, oh, I didn't notice that. If there's one thing I love, it's a quirky small tong coffee shop. They have a yellow brick road in here. The owners must love Wizard of Oz because there's lots of nods to it. Yeah. Hey, Colin, what's above the door? A bicycle's right up there? Yeah. It is? Can you show me? Bicycle up there. Riley, what'd you yeah, get? Yeah, yeah, that looks yeah. so good. And I got um, a, a caramel latte. Right, Nor Nor? Yeah. We just went in this adorable shop. It's called Madeline Woods Boutique. And we got some really cute stuff for Nor Nor. I'll show you guys in a little bit. We found a little candy shop. Oh, I don't even know what that is. A Clark bar. Mm, this is where I like to live with the sour belts. This unicorn. Oh my goodness, a unicorn. Oh my goodness. These are crazy. Ice cream. Ice cream. Cream. Oh, those are so cute, Nor Nor. Those are super cute. Oh, look at all these beautiful candies. I love it. Okay, so we just grabbed some lunch after shopping. It was fun. And now we're driving to the Fossil Rim Wildlife Center. Will you give us some context? Glen Rose, Texas is famous because They've found dinosaur footprints everywhere and dinosaur bones. So that's what Glen Rose, that's what Glen Rose is known for. So we're going to a zoo at Glen Rose and then we're gonna go to see dinosaur stuff. And so that's what Glen Rose is all about. When did they discover the fossils and the footprints and everything? I don't know, I guess a long time ago. I went here when I was a kid, there's pictures of me with these dinosaurs and stuff. So it's just kind of a little thing to do in North Texas. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. See, it looks like the dinosaurs were here. All right, here we are. Glen Rose, Texas. There's even dinosaurs on the sign. <laughs> Small town Texas is always just a hood and a half. We are, Nora, we're almost here. We just got here to Fossil Rim Wilderness. Wildlife. <laughs> I couldn't see because of the tree. Fossil Room Wildlife Center. You can see we have already got some dinos going on here. And uh, everyone's getting unloaded. So it's like a drive. Oh, I can see people driving. It's like a drive through safari situation, but also dinosaur fossils, I guess. I don't fully understand, but. I think it'll become pretty clear, pretty obviously. Oh, here we go. This is the people going in, but we're getting Monica. My mother-in-law rented one of these. Um, you can kind of see them here. These like safari vehicles. They kind of look like the Kilimanjaro safari vehicles so that we can all ride together because otherwise we would be all driving in separate 
cars to go, you know, do the drive through situation. So that'll be fun that we can ride all together. And we were worried it was going to be too cold, but it's actually warmed up a lot. And it's about 53 degrees right now, but sunny and warm. So I think we'll be just fine. All right, we're all loaded up on our safari vehicle. It looks just like the Kilimanjaro safari vehicle. Except for it's two rows instead of one. You excited? We're going to feed us the animals. It's animal food. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got our animal food. Yes, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Um, a worldwide effort to reintroduce the population into the wild, and several of fossil rich individual oryx species did go over there. Currently, that population has a few hundred individuals. Ken is still thriving. They do monitor that population with radio collars that were actually at fossil rich. Well, the bees. I didn't get their name because they're just very strange looking animals. It looks like God stuck them together with all sorts of other leftover parts. They have kind of a horse appearance, an antelope, a cow, just all kind of stuck together there. These are really sweet. We just waited straight up an hour to feed this giraffe <laughs> and um, it's walking away from us. <laughs> it does not care. <laughs> well, I've ever been. How beautiful. Look at her beautiful eye. His, his beautiful eyes. He is so pretty. Now Colin's going to feed him. Hold it out. Colin, what are those over there? Well, hello. We are back from our very 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 long safari it was almost four full hours in my mind i was thinking like kilimanjaro safari style a little longer maybe like an hour i think kilimanjaro is about 30 minutes i was thinking about an hour but it just went on and on and on and it is really cold and really windy um luckily the sun was out so at different points the sun would hit our seats which was nice but it was long you want to say hi in my vlog. What's your name? Zoe. And you also vlog. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You have your own little camera. Yeah. Um, she's so cute. I've heard her walking around and being like, now we're doing this. And um, Emily, her, her mom got her a camera. So anyway, it was a really fun time for the beginning. And it just went on and on and on and on and on. And it Colin started melting down. And I would not have gone if I had known that it was going to be four hours. Because that's just like far too long. But when nobody knew that. Um, there was no like direct information. I think it's just sort of like it takes however long it takes to like see animals. Let me close the door. So anyway, it was, um, it was fun at first. And then we had like diminishing returns as the time went on. <laughs> um, but this morning was really fun walking around the Granbury Square and uh, we went and got coffee like I showed you at that Wizard of Oz themed coffee shop. That was really cute. That was the best caramel latte I've had in so very long. They do house made caramel in it and um, it was just absolutely delicious. And then 
we walked around we went shopping um the only thing that we bought were some clothes for nora so i'll show you those here in a second i love shopping for nora and then um i don't know what else we've done uh before the safari oh we just went to jimmy john's and just got like sub sandwiches and ate them when we drove out to this safari location i mean i think if it had been a warmer day we would have all lasted a bit longer but it was pretty um pretty cold and we had even brought blankets and all of that um so yeah <clears throat> It's not that I would not recommend it. I would recommend it on a nice day and I would recommend it for kids that can sit still for three plus hours. Even the older kids in our group were like really tired of it by the end. So just know that it's it's a haul, like it's a long thing. Um, I did really like being in the safari vehicle rather than in a car, although it would have been warmer in an actual, like one of our personal vehicles because in the safari vehicle you get a tour guide and she was really knowledgeable about all of the different animals, just so similar to Kilimanjaro safaris in Disney and Animal Kingdom. Um, she talked about each one, their different behaviors, you know, all these kinds of things. And this place was enormous and it was actually really beautiful, um, even in, you know, we're in winter time now. So that was all of that. Let me show you on a very different note what I got at this little boutique for Nora. This boutique was called Madeline Woods and um, it looks like they have a website, MadelineWoodsBoutique.com. <clears throat> I'll have to check that out because they have so many of my favorite children's brands. Um, so this is the first thing, it is so cute. It is a swimsuit by the brand Rufflebutt, which I have been buying for Nora since she was in the womb, quite literally. Um, so when they're little babies, they put the ruffles on the butt, hence the brand name. But then they kind of move them into less obvious locations as the kids get older. So the ruffles are on the side now. Now that we have a pool at home, um, we need, each child needs quite a few swimsuits because we are in and out of the pool every day, all day long. And then I also like to wash them because they just wear them. Um, so whereas before we had a pool, maybe two swimsuits per kid per season would be great because when one is wet, what can one can be dry. But we use our pool so much now that probably closer to four swimsuits is like more what we need for a good rotation. Um, we also got this little bow for Nora. I just love this color. It reminded me of Rapunzel. Um, just that kind of like really beautiful pinky purple color. Love it. We don't have any bows like that. Um, Riley has been taking Nora to the driving range lately. And uh, when I saw this play dress, I knew Nora just had to have it because she has been really excited. The brand is Beaufort Bonnet Company, if you're familiar, which is a beautiful children's brand. But this is like a really soft cotton play dress. I'm sorry, the lighting's not great. It's late in the day, so it's not amazing lighting. Um, but it just has like some little golfy things on it and it has the number four everywhere, which is the age of Nora. She's four years old. So she will wear this all summer long, just an easy play dress. It's a really nice, thick, stretchy, comfy cotton. So I thought this was so cute. And then the last thing I got for her um, is just this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dress. Um, and she can wear it throughout the spring and summer and uh, can wear it for Easter if she wants. I bought a dress at Walmart that I thought she could wear for Easter, but I this one's an, like a nicer dress, but it's the both are really, really cute. So let me see if I can get the better lighting. Here's what the fabric looks like. I love classic children's clothes like this, like love, 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 love. And I know it won't last forever that she'll wear little beautiful things like this. And even down the back, there are some beautiful little buttons. Just adorable. So those are the things that I picked up for her. They had some cute boys clothes, um, but I didn't I didn't even venture into that section because I was shopping with Nora and she was just super excited about these things. And honestly, Colin is so rough. <laughs> like it's not, Nora loves to get dressed up and feel pretty and put on her clothes and like she thinks it's super fun. Colin, you know, he's just like, my little wild man he does not care and he's going to be digging in dirt and sand and water and so it's really better to like stick to target and walmart for him um or hand-me-downs for my sister's son henry he's her first he's nora's age now so ali ships me boxes of his hand-me-downs and when he when he 
was born, who was her first and only, and so she bought him the most beautiful children's clothes for the first couple of years of his life. Um, and so she sends me them and it's just like, a, and pretty much anytime you see Colin in like vineyard vines or like any like more upscale baby cloth item, it's a hand-me-down from Allie from Henry. Um, and now Henry lives, you know, in Cat and Jack because Allie has two little girls now and she kind of buys all the fancy things for them. So anyway, that's the story. I just ate a snack. We all just kind of snacked when we got home. Um, it took, all, I mean, it's 5.15. It took like all day. It took a lot of time, that, that whole safari. So um, I think we're gonna do just a low-key dinner at the house, do some puzzles, play some games together, just enjoy time together here. And then um, hopefully have a relatively early night to sleep because I know everyone's wiped out, you know, being outside like that for hours that you know at a time definitely wears you out. I brought all of the leftover friendship bracelet making materials from the girls night that I hosted a little while back and everyone's making friendship bracelets so Zoe you're putting your name on there and eight oh and Libby and you put a beautiful cross wow Colin is zoning out over here watching Bluey. And we just got a huge pasta order for dinner. Wow, this looks yummy. Good morning. It is Sunday now, and we are just getting everything together. So I have my little basket of all my fun things, my Kindle and my crochet stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then these are the little clothes I got for Nora. This is my purse and a couple extra things. Shoes I'm gonna wear today. My water. We brought this laundry bag, which is from my shop. We bring it with us on every single trip and it's so nice because we'll just go home with this and then just throw it in the wash and then be done. Um, diaper bag, this is the kids stuff. There's not much left in it because they we went through it all, so it's all in the laundry bag. So I just have like some extra stuff in there. Riley's getting his stuff together. And then mine, this is this new bag, this foldy. Oh my gosh, I have loved it. It's such a perfect size. It fits everything. Um, it's been great. We have, a, I don't know where our travel one of this is, so I just grabbed this from Colin's room as we were walking out the door. Um, but it's been amazing. I still haven't clipped the tag. I keep forgetting to do that. So we just made up our bed in here in case anyone else wants to use it. Rye, how you doing? Great, I'm ready for these dinosaurs. Oh, you are? Yeah. Colin, you ready to go see some dinosaurs? Yeah, what is... Um, oh. Mommy? Yes, baby? I can't find my shoe. Oh, we'll find it. You got one shoe on, one shoe off? Yeah. Okay. It's a beautiful morning. It's still very chilly, though. Um, it's like in the high 40s right now. And, bre well, it doesn't look as breezy as it was yesterday. Yesterday on that safari, we were freezing by the end. We stopped at a gas station so I could get a cup of hot coffee because I was so cold. So this room has been good to us. Um, we are just gonna load up the car. We're gonna leave, we're gonna go to the dinosaur thing and then leave from there. I was going to wait until I got home to take like a really nice hot long shower and blow dry my hair and like all of it. And I woke up this morning and I just was like, I just have to do it. <laughs> After being outside all day on that safari, I was going to take a shower last night, but a lot of other people were and I was afraid there would be no more hot water. So I just went ahead this morning and I feel like a whole new person, even though we're going to some kind of like dinosaur park and I don't need to have my hair curled for that. You can see me in there, it's always funny. Um, I feel so much better. I feel like a whole new person. Isn't it amazing what a shower can do? So we're gonna get loaded up in the car. I actually haven't had anything to eat or drink. I'm not overly hungry because we had that pasta probably around seven-ish last night. So um, I'm actually not actively hungry, but I'm gonna eat a little something before we go on this dinosaur adventure for sure. And I'm hoping we can stop at the gas station we stopped at yesterday to get coffee because I have never ever seen a gas station that has this. So they had this huge coffee machine and at the top were multiple um, containers of whole beans that fed into the machine. So one was French vanilla flavored, one was hazelnut flavored, one was original and one was decaf I think. So I just did original and you could hear when you clicked start, it would grind the beans and then brew the beans fresh into your cup and it was the best 
cup of coffee that I have ever had from a gas station and it was delicious. It was so, 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 so good. It was, you could just taste it was super fresh. So I really want to try one of the flavored coffees like the French vanilla or the hazelnut. Um, so I might try to, it's on our way out of this neighborhood that we're staying in. So I might try to pop in there on our way out. Um, really good. It was at a gas station called Allsup's. A-L-L-S-U-P-S. I had never been in one. Riley said they're always really nice, but I didn't know that. So anyway, I came home and it was so good. My sister-in-law had a sip of it and she was like, that is amazing. So I poured half my cup into a mug so we could share it. And we cheers and had our coffee. I also think it probably tasted good because we had been on a four hour long outdoor freezing cold safari. Y'all, we're back for the coffee. <laughs> and I, I got everyone to come with me this time. Emily, will you be my model? I was talking about this on my vlog this oh morning. <laughs> you look great. Vanilla bean. Let's That's what I'm gonna do. I wanna do it so it can spin around. Or is it gonna spin around? That's, yeah, 16. Okay, so mm, yeah, let's pick it up. Okay. Oh, it's gonna This is so cute. Isn't that cool? You guys need one of these in your house. I know. Have you ever gone to Cafe Brazil in It's been a while. Got all this. And then look, it, it has a so layer good. of crema on top. It's so fresh. Mm. Just smell it. Smells this great. is the best part of the day. <laughs> Who needs dinosaurs? Who needs dinosaurs? Look this is going to get us through the dinosaurs. Look at all that crema. Yes. Mm. Smells Can you believe so it? Fresh, fresh, fresh. Mm. This is bizarre. What? I guess I'm always going to like gossips. I know. So Emily's just as obsessed with it as I am. Oh, what'd you get? A cold brew. Oh, and Katie's getting a cold brew? Can you, um, I love gas stations. Fun fact about me. We're here at Dinosaur World. We <laughs> We are <laughs> We are going in completely blind. We have no We don't know anything. But we're about to find out. Oh, Colin is going to love this. Colin, are you excited? Here we go. Glen Rose, Texas, Dinosaur World. Colin is so excited. What do you think, Dit Dit? Very excited. Did you see her? Oh my gosh. That, her little legs are going. Dark, 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 dark. Nora is so excited, and so is Colin. Y'all, this Dinosaur World gift shop is not playing around. It is, I mean, it has fine goods. I mean, look at this <laughs> a $9,000 amethyst. Wow. I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. KB, what do you think? What is your first impression? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite movie is? Jurassic Park. It's the oh. greatest Look, film ever made. Look also, Look the greatest book ever written. I see the big dinosaur right You see the big dinosaur right there? Dinosaur got what in D. Look at this big D. T-Rex head. T-Rex What's the dinosaur say, Colin? What's your favorite dinosaur? Those. Those are lizards. <laughs> Those are handsome good geckos. Those are your favorite. <laughs> what in the world? Like that. I found that. Oh There's a museum of animatronics in there. Oh. Yeah. You beat these things. <laughs> Monica, what, what did you. What? I said. You would have been dead. If what? If you had to live in dinosaur dying. I said. And it's just a matter of fact. Blair would have died. So it doesn't matter. She said she was scared of living with him. And I said you'd be dead. I said I'm glad God made me now. And Monica, without missing a beat, said you would have been dead. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm so glad I don't live in the Jurassic Park. <laughs> Let me tell you. You'd be dead. Every day, and I think I'm so glad I don't live in the Cretaceous period. Okay. Said. I said the same thing, but in a less educated way. I just said, I'm glad God made me now. These things are just woo, woof. Everyone be very still. What kind of dinosaur is that, Colin? Big dinosaur. The big dinosaur. Can you say T Rex? T Rex. Say T Rex. That 
guys, if you don't move, yeah. I can't see you. No, it's an allosaurus. Oh. Nora and Colin is daddy and mommy and Nora and Colin. It's an allosaurus. Actually, on rough days, it's, we all are active. This is pretty accurate. And Nora, this is your family again. Mommy, daddy, Colin, and Nora. Four. Which one's Colin? Your family. Nora, these all have golf socks. Daddy, you're talking. That's you. <laughs> Which one's mommy? That's so weird. Oh, that one's mommy? Thanks, Colin. That one's from Dilophosaurus. I don't need to read the sign. <laughs> that is from. That is from. She's right. <laughs> This is the one that eats Ted Nedry in famed Jurassic Park lore, <laughs> written by Michael Crichton. <laughs> They're pretty little. Somehow these freak me out more than the big, big ones. They just seem like slithery. Oh boy. I guess I don't know anything about dinosaurs because I thought I thought all of these were T-Rex and they're not. Oh, the horn. To me, that's a, a unicorn, a T-Rex unicorn. Very good. <laughs> These were known as the Ceratars. <laughs> These little stumpy ones, they really, these ick me out. They scare me. Like this one is less scary to me than that last, well, actually that's not really true. I said, I said it's Nora, Paul, and Henry no. and Eliza. <laughs> I'll see you low. Here's the Brachiosaurus. This is my favorite. They just seem like gentle giants. Just plant eaters. Oh, there's another one down there. Oh, there's a couple more. I think there's an alligator or something. Oh, yeah. That one that I just showed you looks like Gertie in Hollywood Studios, doesn't it? Look, there's several. There's four of them over here. This is actually really cute, this whole herd of them or whatever. What's a group of them called? A herd? Probably not. They're herding. Yeah. <laughs> Does it say? These are Ultrasaurus. Ultrasaurus. I don't like that name. <laughs> what do <are> you <laughs> Why is he standing so erect? He almost has like a fold here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. And his claws are not like, there's no retractable. It's like, where's, where's the my paper? There's no opposable right. thumbs. <laughs> this guy didn't live long. <laughs> he does button stuff. Look, oh, there's no claws. So He's got little feet. He doesn't even have to. Oh, he's making me laugh so bad. He's got 16. <laughs> <laughs> he's really bad. He's awful. Emily goes, he didn't live long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Remember? They love their babies. This is a really good kid. Maya Sora. Okay, now these guys are like little. They're like duck bill. They're really cool. That one's doing like this. You, you put your stamp of approval <laughs> on these. These guys are cute. <laughs> They're looking like they could survive. <laughs> you just send me pictures. Yeah, I will. Look back there. Come on. Come on. Now we're in the museum portion and they have all these different fossils and things that you can check out. Oh wow. This is pretty elaborate. This reminds me of living with the land. Wait, do they have the hunting dinosaur? What do you think, Colin? He's opening his mouth. Oh, look, he's opening his mouth too. He's going. We have entered the Cretaceous.
Well, we left Dino Land, Dino World, Dinosaur World. I don't know. What was it called? Dinosaur World. Dinosaur World. And we are on our way home, actually, but we spotted a Bucky's, and so we are stopping. If you are. It's new to us. Nora's never been to this one. Mommy and Daddy have. Um, if you don't know what Bucky's is, this is all a gas station. It is like this huge, huge, huge gas station. Yeah. And the inside has everything in the world, and it's really fun. And everything's always really clean and nice. And they have really delicious food. And mm -hmm. there's all kinds Yay, of fun things. Toys. Yeah, we're gonna go. So here's what Bucky's looks like. This is the most busy I've ever seen it. This is a busy spot, I guess. Well, and it's spring break. Um, so it goes all the way back. We're kind of in the middle by the restrooms here. And then it goes all the way back this way. It is just huge. One of my very favorite things that they sell are beaver nuggets. They sort of taste like little crunchy bits that have almost like caramel on them. They sort of taste like Captain Crunch. They're delicious. And then Riley's trying the uh, bold and spicy version of the Bucky's Nuggets. Bucky's Nuggies. You're gonna eat barbecue? I think I'm gonna get a taco. Okay, when we get in the car. So here's the bakery section. They have all kinds of stuff. Got like a massive operation. And then they have burritos and tacos. So I got a chicken burrito. Riley got a chopped brisket sandwich over here. This is like this barbecue area. There's fudge right here. They have tons and tons and tons of jerky. This place is so big, Nornor. And they have like home goods over here and then they also have like kids toys and stuff. It just never ends. And they have banana pudding. I've gotten that many times. Looks like Riley's about to pick it up. You getting some banana pudding? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love those candied pecans. Let's definitely get some. <laughs> you think we're getting that? <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get that, but those sure are cute. Well, hello. It's, I think, about 6 o'clock, 6.15 now here on Sunday, and we just got back from our trip. Um, we just took our time getting back home. We stopped, like I said, at Bucky's, or I showed you. Um, we spent about probably close to an hour there, um, and that was nice, and we got some dinner, and that burrito I got was absolutely delicious. I totally loved it. So um, that's what we did, and then we got back home, and um, I just started a load of laundry from all of the laundry in our laundry bag, and um, you know, I changed out of jeans into pajama pants. You'll never find me at home in jeans for more than approximately two minutes. <laughs> I can't stand wearing jeans at home. Um, and yeah, I'm just, you know, we're just relaxing, getting everything unpacked. It's not a lot. We were only gone for two nights, but all of the normal post-trip things. Um, I am so glad that we went. Our kids had such an amazing time spending time with their cousins, and I just think it's really nice to foster those cousin relationships. I definitely grew up alongside my cousins, and I went on a lot of vacations with my cousins growing up, and um, they are some of my top highlights of childhood. And because their cousins on this side are all three much older, we don't end up spending as much day-to-day -day time with them because all three of them are, you know, one of them is very involved in the local theater, one of them is very involved in football, basketball, soccer, one of them is very involved in cheer and dance and um, tumbling, and so they're like really, really, really busy. You know, they're either at school or at their activities, and then on the weekends they have games and tournaments and championships and all that. So the point is we don't get to see them a lot, and getting to spend some unwritten uninterrupted time with them for like a handful of days was really nice and uh, my kids just absolutely loved it. Definitely was so nice to get out of town. I don't know what that noise is. It is so loud. Um, I don't know if you can hear that or not. It sounds like a TV starting up over and over but it's like it sounds like it's at 300 volume. 
Anyway, really glad we went. It was nice to get out of town. Um, just a super easy trip. Anyway, very nice to get away. Great to spend some good family quality time together. The kids loved both the safari and the dino world thing that we went to today. So that was really fun too. What is going on? I feel crazy. Can you hear that? Anyway, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. Thanks for following along on our little Texas local road trip getaway. Um, leave a friendly comment below if you've ever been to any of the places that we've shared. Have you ever been on a four hour safari in the bitter cold wind? And how did it go for you? <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.